right, what's up, guys? We are back. We're at the chain lift. Mm -hmm. He's Mark. I'm Adam. I got my 3D glasses on for this special year in review video. We're going to be talking about the year, the year of my birth, greatest year maybe of all time, 1985. Certainly had the best movie of all time. Yes, it did. And that movie is... Back to the Future, 1985. All right, future boy. <laughs> Who's the president? Oh, Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan. <laughs> the actor? <laughs> Ronald Reagan. The actor? <laughs> that was our rendition of uh, uh, Back to the Future. And scene. And scene. <laughs> um, 1985 also. So um, what won Best Picture that year mm -hmm. was Out of Africa. Never heard Never of it. Never seen it. Should have been Back to the Future. Uh, some of the main movies that came out that year was, of course, the aforementioned Back to the Future. Uh, Rambo First Blood Part 2 came out. Rocky IV. Yeah. I Will Break You. That's a good one. The Color Purple. Great one. Yep. Steven Spielberg did that. It's a classic. Uh, Cocoon came out. Mm-hmm. Some songs. You have Take On Me by AHA. Ooh, I love that song. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy For You by Madonna. That's right? okay. Right? Sasudio. I feel cowards. <laughs> oh, yes. What is a Sasudio? Sasudio. I have no idea. Answer in the comments section. <laughs> Please tell me what a Sasudio is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a great song. It's a great song, though. It's a great song. If you've ever seen American Psycho, there's some good references to Phil Collins in that movie. Do you like Phil Collins? Yes, and also Huey Lewis in the News. And he, Huey Lewis in the News. And Power of Love came out that year. Oh, man. What a great year. Oh, my, and my personal favorite, 1985, Party All the Time by Eddie Murphy. Oh, yeah. Party All the uh -huh. Time. <laughs> God, so good. Good stuff. Super Bowl that year, the Bears. The Bears. NBA champion was the Lakers. I would guess the Bulls. The NHL uh, was the Edmonton Oilers. And MLB was the Royals. Good job. George Brett maybe that year. Good job, guys. Let's get to the coasters and stuff you guys care about. Okay. Okay, the first one we're going to talk about. Disaster Transport, which was originally opened as Avalanche Run in 1985. Avalanche Run, the bobsled coaster built by Intamin. Uh -huh. And these are some Genuine 3D glasses from Disaster Transport. Show them that logo on the side. There it is. Genuine Disaster Transport. Yes. No way. So, 1985, um, Avalanche Run was put where like Jumbo Jet used to be. Uh, and, then, yeah. and then in 1990... Uh, Cedar Point wanted to make their Space Mountain. Their own version of Space Mountain. Where we traveled to Alaska. Yes. To drop off cargo, apparently. That's right. Uh, but, so 1990 the 2012 was that's transport. So, yeah, so the Bob saw lasted five years. It was, I remember it was always weird seeing it. Like, it's weird yeah. seeing in pictures. It like, is. Like the outdoor bobs like on yeah. the beach before uh just transport you're saying yeah yes now i i think one of the reasons why they besides want to make like an indoor space mountain mm -hmm. i think they're they said like a lot of sand got on the ride yeah. a lot that was the main problem this so they're getting a lot of sand blowing in from lake erie mm -hmm. from the beach and they're having to blow it off every day yeah it's a lot of work it's a hassle so they thought it ahead time. A big ugly box. Yes. I did love the theming of Disaster Transport, and I have really fond memories of oh, Disaster yeah. Transport uh, from my childhood. It's like that one and Magnum are probably my two yes. all time favorite Cedar Point roller coasters. Raptor's up there, too. I, I, like, I remember riding like in the early 90s, like mm -hmm. when everything actually worked, like the lines were always super long. Yeah. Had Frank the robot. Remember yes. Frank, guys? Frank? Love that cue. Like That's the best. bay, like, like, like they were building, like mm -hmm. they were building the trains. Yep. And, it was great. great. And then it went all gone. It's yeah, like, they, the, all the theming kind of just went downhill slowly. And then, you know. Yeah. And eventually they took it down and now we have Gatekeeper. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but really, though, the most the most famous course of that year, it's not even close, mm -hmm. is Phoenix. Yes, Phoenix of Knobles. Of Knobles. Now, we learned some we fun some, facts some about this. factoids. This coaster actually opened in 1947. Mm-hmm. And it was at a park called Playland Park in San Antonio, Texas. It was originally called the Rocket. Yes. So it from 1947 to 1980. It was in Texas. It was in Texas called the Rocket. I didn't know that. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, so that that park closed down. Mm -hmm. Um. Then Cadolas came in and they bought the they bought the coaster mm -hmm. in 1984. Mm-hmm. And we're reading that there was no blueprints at all. Yeah, no blueprints for the coaster. They literally individually numbered every piece of lumber 
and they cataloged it on site yeah. and they built it back up Reassembled that way. Reassembled it on site at Knobles. That's crazy. It's un- insane. Yes. Uh, so it opened in 1995 as the Phoenix. Uh, it rose from the ashes. It rose from the ashes. Perfect name. Yes. But yeah, I, I had no idea. No, that's really cool. Really cool. Maybe story. I should. Maybe we should have known that. But well, we, we we don't know. Forget it now. But in the Phoenix is your number one wind coaster in the world right now. Yeah, it is. Our Golden Ticket Awards. Uh-huh. We have. We don't number one. We have yet to be, to go to Knobles. We haven't rode it yet. We're we're mm-hmm. really hoping to soon. This Very soon. But uh, yeah, Phoenix. I I probably of any coaster I have not been on yet in a, in North America. That's probably my number one or two. Definitely I'm, the number one Woody that I haven't been on. Oh, I want to ride. I can't wait to ride it. Yeah. So, but yeah, I learned that stuff about uh, Phoenix. Maybe you didn't know that, but now you do. Mm-hmm. So we all learn together. Um, so uh, Z Force, which was what was it called at Magic Mountain? Uh, flashback. Yeah, flashback. Yeah. It's this like Intamin, like what, what? It's called like a space dive. It was like the first and only space dive coaster. Was the only was the world's only hairpin drop roller coaster. Yeah, so it debuted at Great America, nineteen eighty five. Yes, it was there for two years. They took it down and moved it to Six Flags Over Georgia, and then Six Flags Great America put up Iron Wolf in its place. Yes, mm-hmm. so for two years, they built this entire thing up. Mm-hmm. And they took it down two years later. Yes. They sent it to over Georgia. Two years there. <laughs> took it back down. And then put it back in Magic Mountain. And then they renamed it Flashback. Yeah. Uh, I, I, we couldn't find the answer why, but like that, that boggles my... It just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't so. know why they kept taking it down. And how long was that Magic Mountain? For uh, a while, like till 2007, 2007. I believe. 2007. Yeah, so... It was there for a long time. Yeah. So if you guys know in the comment section, please tell me. Why was it only open two years at Great America... They moved to all the way to Georgia for two years and moved it again. It makes no sense. It's weird, yeah. I don't know. So, yeah, please tell us. What, mm-hmm. what was the first question? I, oh, yeah. It also was, what's a yes, studio. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah so two don't questions forget. to answer. Um, let's see here. Uh, Skyrider, Canada's Wonderland opened that year. Yeah. It was the Togo stand-up, stand-up coaster. We've been on it. We have been on we it. We rode it before they uh, took it down. They uh, cleared that coaster out of the way, in which now Yukon Striker uses a lot yes. of that land. So. Uh, that closed in 2014. Mm-hmm. It is now called Freestyle and is in Italy. Yeah, so they, the, I thought they just scrapped the coaster, but they actually they sold it and it's in Italy. I, you know, when I read that though, I actually kind of do remember that they, I, that did come back to me that somebody did yeah. buy it. But yeah, it's still standing. If you guys want to go That's ride cool. Skyrider, yeah. Um, in Skyrider, it was cloned, I believe, uh, as well, similar to or the same as King's Dominion. There might have been mirror images of each other. So King Cobra was the first mm-hmm. at King's Island, yeah. And then uh, Skyrider and then Shockwave opened right after that. I think they're all mirror clones or clones or like one are cloned, but they're all pretty much the, yeah. essentially the same stand up coaster mm-hmm. by Togo. Uh, they're all gone. Well, at least yeah. out of America, North America, anyway. They had really interesting seats too. So they, they were sucked. <laughs> they they're like bicycle seats, and it was like a, a two seater stand up coaster. Unlike B and M, has the four across. Yep, so it was interesting. We went on uh, yeah, Shockwave and Skyrider. I just remember I remember, we were at Shockwave. It's last year. That was open. Mm-hmm. I just remember like crushing my like ribs. <laughs> I felt like I was like bleeding internally after riding. Yeah, it wasn't comfortable. <clears throat> yeah. So, but Skyrider opened in nineteen eighty five. You know, at the time, though, like, I'm sure that was revolutionary. Oh, yeah. In 1985? Yeah. King Cobra was 1984, but I'm sure those were, like, just mind-blowing at the time, though. So we thought we'd mention it. Yeah. Uh, You got uh, in Lerone. Yeah. The only reason we mentioned the monster, it was still operating. What's interesting about it is one side, it's a two-track coaster. One side opened in 1985, but the other opened in 1986. Yeah, it is weird. It's weird that they did it that way. Uh, if anybody, I mean, I've seen pictures and we saw the videos. The structure's huge, and I can see why they. I mean, I don't think they could accomplish both those massive structures in like one because they just did everything in one off season usually, like kind of back then, right? I well, mean, usually most coasters, yeah, are all built in one off season. I don't know why what their plan was from the start. If they planned it that way from the beginning, yeah. or if they ran into problems, I don't know. But it's if you watch the POV, the coaster is pretty unique. I mean, it looks super rough, very <laughs> yes. rough. But it's it's really kind of kind of cool looking in its yeah. own like big wooden way. Yeah, like, like the tracks are like they're, they're like they're almost on the same like track like, same like, path. But like but they're different though. Also, it's weird. Yeah, it, I wouldn't really call it a racing coaster. It's more of like a 
I don't know. It's a coaster. Two-track coaster. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. But yeah, check it check out. Check it out, though. It's a weird coaster. So, overall, I mean... But it's two coaster credits. So it's two coaster good. credits. Mm-hmm. So let's go on down to Montreal, home mm-hmm. of the hitman Bret Hart. That's right. Uh-huh. The Montreal screw job. Uh-huh. Shawn Michaels. That's right. <laughs> uh-huh. All right. Anyway, so clearly the, the big winner, though, is Phoenix. I mean, oh, yeah. Phoenix is still... It's the number one coaster, wooden coaster in the world mm-hmm. right now. It's been like the top ten, I think, probably almost every year it's the been open. couple decades, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it's still one of the greatest coasters ever built. Yeah, that, that one's clearly the coaster of 1985, I'd say, that has the longest standing history. Avalanche runs something special, mm-hmm. but just it being at Cedar Point makes it sort of special because yeah. everyone remembers the queue line and, you know, the big ugly building is like pretty iconic on yeah, it, honestly. Yeah, it's pretty mean, iconic and it's, yeah, it's worth definitely worth mentioning for 1985. Skyrider is like the second ground up built standard coaster at the time. It sure was yeah. mind blowing. Z-Force is super unique. Yeah. But 1985 wasn't anything great. No, overall it was okay. Nothing earth shattering. No. 17 coasters that were built in North America. Yeah. Uh, there was nothing like that we regularly recognized from around Europe the world. Asia, so yeah. we we'll so just kind of skip that. If we miss something in those countries, you can let us know below. Yeah. So, so yeah. All yeah. right, guys. Yeah, thanks for checking this out. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at the Chain Lift. We are also on iTunes and Spreaker.com. At um, we have iTunes podcast. Yep, which is the Chain Lift podcast. Uh, we got some shirts for sale. You can find this cool shirt. For sale it's like sixteen dollars on our merch website you can find the link below leave a like we love you subscribe mm-hmm. we appreciate it yeah that's everything i'm gonna be sean michaels how's he talking this all the time i'm the heartbreak kid sean michaels it hurt my throat like, I but like wear, i've heard my wear interviews i've heard my interviews and he talks like that he's normal. voice he probably is a smoker <laughs> i don't think he is i don't, I don't know. know anyway what's this the studio why do they move that thing Three times, three times in like a five year span. Yes, you're talking about flashback? Yeah. Yes, tell us. Okay. Bye. That's pretty good. See ya. The Heartbreak Kid <laughs> is in this business because this business needs the Heartbreak Kid. <laughs> <laughs>